Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and I got another great video for you today. So today I want to talk about my yard and what is the favorite tasting fruit in my yard. Now, there's many different things when picking a fruit tree, such as not only taste, but how the tree fruits and how much production you get from the tree and, you know, the season and how to pick a fruit. There's so many other things here, but of everything, what is the best tasting fruit in my yard to me? Now, taste is subjective and you have all these other things to consider when you're getting a fruit tree. You can't just go by taste. I've tasted some fruits that were absolutely delicious, but I wouldn't even get those trees because they don't fruit well or they have, uh, they're, they're not too resistant to disease and so on. But for the trees I ended up getting in my yard and I've played musical trees for a long time, uh, getting the trees I have and dealing with spacing and everything else. What is my favorite tasting fruit in my yard? Now, I always say, oh, this is one of my favorite fruits. This is one of my favorite fruits. Well, today I'm going to talk about the favorite, the best. And taste of subjective is for me because my number one favorite, believe it or not, my wife doesn't like as much. So taste is subjective. So here we go. So uh, there are... I, I I enjoy and love every fruit in my yard, and I wouldn't, if I didn't like it, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't have it. I don't have the luxury of having acres and acres and acres of space where I could just get whatever I want, and even if it doesn't fruit well. Another thing is, if a fruit tastes great, but is not going to give me great production, I don't want it in my yard. I eat a, a raw vegan diet. I only eat fruits and vegetables. So I do this for the benefit of being able to grow and eat my own food. I don't do this for fun. I don't do this for a hobby. I do this to live and get the highest quality food from a health standpoint and also food that I love. So I'm not going to have certain trees like I love the way a strawberry tree, the little berries taste. They taste like Captain Crunch cereal. They're delicious. I used to have one right over there. I no longer have it. Because I'm not going to get full from a fruit like that. So, and there are some other fruits that I don't have in my yard. As a matter of fact, the, my favorite, favorite, favorite tasting fruit of all time, I don't have. It doesn't grow in Florida. It is durian. Durian fruit is my number one fruit to eat. I love it. It tastes great. But you can't grow it here in South Florida. I know some people are trying, but they haven't been successful yet. So... For where I live, and you got to remember, this is where I live because I know different things grow in different environments and so on, but this is for where I live and what tastes best. I would say, and, and one more thing to consider before I get into this is there are certain foods that taste the best, but I just might not have those varieties. For example, figs. Absolutely, probably one of my number one tasting food is figs. But the varieties I have, I have a black Turkish fig and I have a few other varieties that grow in South Florida. They're okay. They're okay. But they're nothing like the figs I've gotten from California or I've tasted when I went around the world. So if I had those varieties, that would most likely be number one, but I don't have those varieties. So this video isn't about the best tasting fruits in the world. This is about the best tasting fruit in my yard. And I think I put together a good selection of fruit trees. Uh, so, and again, everyone here is great. So, uh, this tree here is a star apple. And when I think about this, I think about like watermelon is a food that I love, but I can't eat a lot of because I just get too full and I get something called watermelon tummy. <laughs> so, there are some foods that even though they taste great, well, I won't even put them, uh, exclude that from my list because this list is about the foods that I love to taste the most. This is star apple. And there's different varieties of star apple out there, and there's different varieties of every fruit out there. Uh, but this is the best variety of fruit. That's what this video is going to be. Not just the best tasting fruit, the best variety of the fruit. Because like I said with figs, some varieties are good, some aren't. Anyway, this is star apple. Star apple is something to consider for me because I've tasted some that are excellent. I've tasted some that are okay. However, I cannot rate this one yet because I haven't any, gotten any star apple from my trees yet. So some of the trees in my yard, uh, this video might change in the future because I haven't gotten fruit from my trees yet. So this is about my yard and my trees. Here's my persimmon tree. And I'm just getting my first crop of persimmons here. 
So, and they were delicious, absolutely delicious. I love persimmons. These are the astringent persimmons. You have to eat them when they're, they're soft. This is called a triumph persimmon. Tastes great, but nothing like the soft hygieia persimmon that uh, I absolutely love that I get uh, in certain environments at other times. Uh, but I can't say this is my favorite tasting one in my yard because it's good, but not the best. Okay, let's continue. So if I do a video in the future on my most productive tree, it would be this tree here. This is a star fruit tree. This is my most productive tree. Tastes great. I think I have the best variety of star fruit. This is a uh, Kerry star fruit, but it's not the best tasting one. I love the taste of avocados, but usually when you think of best tasting, you think of sweet, right? Now I have another a section of a yard, I'm not even going to go and that just has mangoes, 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 mangoes. And mangoes are a great example of different uh, varieties, some tasting much better than others. As much and as good as I love mangoes, they grow great. They're, they're probably the easiest. I have to do a video on the easiest growing fruit trees for South Florida, it would be mango. But still not the best tasting for me in my yard. So I have a lot of mango trees, so we're going to exclude a lot of these today. I'm gonna do top three, top three tasting, uh, tasting foods. Okay, uh, so I got some figs. Here is a sapodilla tree. This is a sapodilla. Uh, I, I didn't show you the jujube tree. It's a good tree. Not even, not even in my top five in taste wise. But this is a sapodilla tree. This would probably be. Oh, there goes a the truck. This tree. I would put a number, there'd be a tie between, for number three, this would be three or four for Sapodilla. Sapodilla, there's different varieties, they're all amazing. Every variety of Sapodilla is amazing. They're not a very productive tree because they don't all fruit at the same time. That's why I have it up here in front. Uh, I have a mulberry back there. Again, not, it tastes good, not the best one. Sapodilla would be a tie for number three, okay? So that's that's a tie for number three. I'm gonna give you the in order my top tasting trees. Sapodilla would be a tie for number three. Rumatrama cherry, canna steel. I have uh, another cherry here. Okay, so I said sapodilla was a tie for number three, and it would be a tie with this tree. This is a mame tree. For taste wise, I would put mame. And Sapodilla, those would both be my number three best tasting trees. Uh, number three, Mame and Sapodilla. Okay, so we still got to get two and one. Does that count that I could have a tie on those? <laughs> All right, so that's number. Here's a peanut butter fruit. Tastes like peanut butter, pretty amazing. But I don't like peanut butter as my number one tasting food. See, mango, mango, mango. Love the mangoes, but I got to exclude the mangoes. Okay, can anyone guess what it might be before we get to the end of it? All righty. I have sugar apple. Sugar apple is not, not up there in my one and two. Okay. So again, not all my fruit is fruiting yet. This is just for my yard. I got a raw sapote not fruiting yet. I have a sour sap. Sour sap is excellent, but not my top two. All right, you ready for my top, my, my number two best tasting fruit in my yard for my taste buds. Number two is this tree right here, white sapote. And you're going to kill me for this one, but I don't even know the variety of this one. Uh, I got it. it I, I believe it, It's definitely a grafted one. They grow small. I don't know the variety. They told me it was young blood. There's no variety I could find as young blood. So I guess that's not what it is. When the guy brought it here, that's what he told me. I know there's one called Young Hands, but I don't know if it's the same one. But anyway, number two would be White Zapote. So number one. Uh, well, I'm going to get to number two is white sapote. A tie between three and four would be sapodilla and mame. Okay. 
Now, the interesting thing is, there is a different number one I have that I've tasted, that I have the tree, but it hasn't fruited yet, so I can't count that in my, in my quest here. There's another sapodilla. Here's my, oh, look at this, what a gift. Right on the floor, I guess I got breakfast now. My soursop, wow, that's beautiful. I love to wake up with soursop right on the floor, but not in my top three. Okay, let's see, I told you my top two. All right, here's another mame that I haven't gotten a mame from yet. And this one's a pumpkin mame. There's my jujube. Now I did get uh, mame from my yard, so that's why I can include it on my list. If it didn't fruit yet in my yard, I couldn't. But I did get a lorito mame in my yard, so I can include it in my list. All right, guys. Are you ready for my top tasting treat in my yard? You should know what it is if you watch my videos, but okay, kitty, I'll let the kitty in before I tell you inside. Okay, my top tasting fruit tree as of 2023, and I tasted them last year for the first time, this variety, China jackfruit. China jackfruit. I have a Boca jackfruit next to it, I don't remember the taste of that one, but China jackfruit. Absolutely my top tasting tree. So China jackfruit. And I got a bunch of seedlings that I was telling you guys from it. So I'm really excited about all the seedlings I have. Now there's a caveat to my number one tasting fruit in my yard. That's fruiting. Because I have this tree here that's not fruiting yet. It's not even in the ground yet. But Probably out of every food I've tasted in this yard, out of every food I tasted in this yard, this will be my number one, or at least the fruit that I've tasted of this tree was my number one, and that is a custard apple. There's two particular types I tasted. I tasted San Pablo, and I tasted Fernandez. Fernandez is one that's more red. San Pablo's pink, uh, and I have, uh, I have. Uh, San Pablo in the ground. I also have one in a pot, and I also have here this Fernandez in a pot that's going in the ground soon. But that will be my favorite tasting one if they taste like what I've tasted. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely amazing. Again, there are some things that might taste uh, or, or, or be better trees to have because of the amount of time of the season and how long the fruit's in season uh, and how well the fruit fruits here. But when you just consider it from a taste standpoint, I mean, this custard apple is absolutely amazing. The Chenet jackfruit, wow. Chenet jackfruit, you guys gotta, or the China it's called, China. You guys gotta definitely uh, test that out and try that. Uh, again, there's so many varieties of fruits out there. Uh, these are just the ones I have and I know there's still so much more to taste, but here's my, if you could see there, there's all my seedlings of my favorite tasting fruit in my yard, my china, my china jackfruit. So when it comes to mangoes, there's so many different varieties and I'll do another video about my favorite tasting variety of mango. I'll do another video about that. I'll do another video about my top producing tree. I'll do a video about the best tree I recommend for people for disease resistance. But today's video about my favorite, favorite tasting tree. Now you know my top three. Number one, Chine jackfruit, also known uh, slash Champadoc. Number two, white sapote. And number three would be a tie between sapodilla and mame. All right, everybody, what is your favorite tasting fruit that you're growing in your yard that is already fruited and you've enjoyed from your own trees? Put those below in the comments. I'd love to hear. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.